Hi everybody, welcome to Anti-Technical IT Service. Today, I will discuss how to extract data from flat file using Informatica. So, as you know, Informatica is very powerful tool for ETL. Sometimes client provide only data file like this flat data file like this and then we need to store that record into the data warehouse and based on actually business rule so here i will not go for all transformation rule but i will show how to extract and load the data to the target table from flat file using Informatica. As you see here, high level uh, diagram how it's work. First of all, we need source file, then we need to map those and then create the target table and load the data into the target, target table. Then we have to validate the data. So, here is uh, some steps that will be helpful. And what we'll do first, uh, we have to create our source, then we have to map those and then create the target table, create mapping, create task, create workflow, create monitor, uh, then uh, start the tags, monitor the tags and validate the data. Let's start uh, the process how we'll do. Here, my inform uh, informatica power center as you see there is nothing in the source so let me uh, bring my source file in here how to do that click on source then import file so my file is under test data folder let's say what is the format here i think it's in the text format so empty st info go there open this and then here is a three steps in this widget so here we have to do first select the import field name like i want those field name like customer id first name last name so i'm bringing those and then click on next and then I'm separating by comma, like what are the data is separated by comma and it is, you see, it is separated by comma and uh, it's all data in, in place. So now click on next. And now I want to verify the field. So customer ID is a numeric, length is fine. Fine, then uh, this is the text, first name and last name also text, date of birth. Here I can change it to the date time. So, or I think for now I'm keeping it is as a uh, text. Then, as you see, the address is text, and then if you go the CD is text, and that country is text. So now let me finish it and then you see source imported now i can see the data is here how the column is here as you see and everything is fine now let's see i can run the query view preview the data see here i have to specify the flat file here again open this flat file and then we can see the record open as you see I have only three record that three record I'll load into the my database in here as you see there is no table I'll create one table uh, so select Mr. from 
so nice uh, table is like uh, str emp some other is this have to clean up anyway so there is no uh, table let me create that part also and i'm closing it now my source is ready now i'm going for target so go to the target designer and here i'll same thing i will import from the file or i can just simply i can drag and drop in here this information in here so then i'll do just uh, rename or just rename tz tz and t is to that okay so i rename that now want to see as you see the source database i have to change this i am bringing it from oracle so apply this and then i'm just creating the table in the oracle database so that's why i have to change that part otherwise it will not create now i'm just generating the script let's say edit my script uh, do you want to create nothing no okay so let me execute this i have to connect this actually first target connect now edit this uh, i have to select the table edit scroll oh let me go here again but okay this is actually generated now what is that script i have my script ready so this I created the table creation script is created now i will execute and okay that table created so now close it if you want to see the table created or not just go here select Mr. from tab uh, and t tz and t students is created as you see what is our tz and t students that table is created see now you need to see like is a table description to is a and a table. see the same information uh, and here I just want to expand it is match same thing first ID first name last name and date of birth so everything is looks good so actually it should be dead and but i am not doing anything right now i'll leave it as it is now uh, what i have to do i'll create one map in here so to do the map i'm just simply bringing this in here and giving the mapping name um empty just do that flat flat file so this is my mapping is ready now I'm just resizing those and then I'll drag this my target table and I'll map everything in and here 
here. Not validated is map is say mapping is validated. Okay. Now I have to let me do the workflow designer here. Here I have to create one <coughs> new task. So create then my task is empty ft ft then creating and I'm mapping this part here it is created done then let me it is something wrong anyway I'm not touching this one and then yes I'm deleting that otherwise it will give you problem so let me check this uh, mapping part you see here my source is from file reader and then let me see the target it should be in the target table okay and then i'll connect this two together and save it as you see workflow is valid now i'm running the task let's see my data is start from task flow and it will maybe get to the workflow monitor that is running that is progressing let's see oh success see how many record you got get such lag and here we have we have that session log and now see the select start from tz and t to that see that's three record is loaded successfully into the table so that's all guys i just uh, Try to explain how it is loaded into the data warehouse using Informatica for platform.